guys. I'm Trisha, Black Creek Cafe. And I want to thank y'all for your really, really horribly difficult job. And truly this is, to use a very bad expression in today's time, a Mexican standoff. So I'm not going to try to dispute what they say. We clearly don't have a copacetic relationship with some of our neighbors. With most of our neighbors, we have a very copacetic relationship. And Mike, just so you know, I mean, I got petitions from thousands of people. I'll be happy to share them with you. I can't dispute all this. That makes me part of it. What I've tried to do, and I had a meeting with Lonnie, I had a meeting with Mike, and I had a meeting with Tim, is to find a solution that better help, because the complainers are here about Fly Creek. So let's call it what it is. This is about Fly Creek. I'd like it not to be. I've tried so hard. I don't want to be here. Help me help us find a solution. Yes, 85 decibels is louder than all the rest of the ordinances. I, I'm not gonna dispute that, whether it should be from the property line or the home or the whatever, but let's help find a solution so that Fly Creek can live more copacetically with our neighbors rather than punish all the other businesses that aren't having any problems. We don't really have a big noise problem in this town, and y'all know that. I have all the complaints from everybody in town. Most of them, it's a couple of restaurants. It's mostly dogs and neighbors and whatnot. There are ways to do this, but without your cooperation and your support, I'm not in a position to do it. I'm not gonna spend another dime trying to come up with a piece of equipment that musicians can plug into to mitigate the sound. With your help, I'd like to get along with you guys. Do I agree with you all the time? No, just, I don't. Uh, Ms. Tremeyer, please just speak to the, to the chair, please. It's difficult. I Thank know you. it is. It's very it's difficult. I, I'm not here to be a problem. I've lived here my whole life, just like these people. I've raised four kids. I have to, I mean, I can sing this song just as well as anybody else. I mean, I can play the Obama thing and play on everybody's sympathies and tell you that, you know, if you don't vote for me, I'm going to take away the old people's Social Security. It's not the way it is. This is a democracy. You have a minority dictating a law that will affect the majority. Whether you like it or not, that's really what you got. You got three complainers playing on the sympathies of three, primarily three, city councilmen. And you only have two that actually patronize my business. The other, you guys haven't been there during music. You don't know. As far as Miss McPherson goes, and I wasn't going to go there, she belongs to the complainer that wrote the tyrannical, ridiculous article concerning our Easter Sunday. And now she's using her maiden name. It's not based on facts. I've been up there four and five times. Got it. Thank you, Trish. Help me find a solution. Thank you all. Uh, my name's Jim Horner. I live at 117 Milana Street. Several recent weeks ago, uh, Mac Walcott, uh, actually at the last city council meeting, suggested that the uh, one-size-fit-all idea for the noise ordinance uh, shouldn't apply. Actually, the Fairhope Noise Ordinance is very specifically written for residential areas in Fairhope. And under its definitions area, it defines what a residential area is. As for our residential area, the maximum of 85 decibels does not work. A case in point, there's many cases I can pick, but I'll pick the most recent <coughs> one. On October 14th, the amplified noise from the Fly Creek Cafe was very loud throughout our home. We called the police at 9.20 p.m. Corporal Brett Murray came by at 9.28, and despite agreeing that the noise was very loud, was only able to measure 84 decibels. So despite the loud, how loud it was, it was legal within our ordinance. The bottom line should be the protection of the health and welfare of the residential community of the city of Fairhope. The, uh, and uh, the people that live on Volanta Street, Main Street, and Seacliff that can't sleep because of this noise are most adversely affected. What is really happening is the, is the maximum of 85 decibels is permitting this. Um, Trisha just said, what can we do to compromise? Lowering the level to 65 decibel points, 65 will be the compromise, should be the compromise. It will not adversely affect their business. The store manager just talked about how much business they do, how much uh, volume they do, how many people they, they support. None of that will be adversely affected. 
The only thing that will help is that the people that live around the Flying Creek Cafe will be able to live as normal citizens with peace. Thank you. Thank you.